Hey everybody, it is me, Steve, with Happy Heart Treasures. Um, this is not going to be a long video, I promise you that. Uh, but we, you ain't going to believe what we got ourselves into now. It is Friday night. I think it's Friday night. Yes, it's Friday night. Donna is resting. We've had a very busy two days. We didn't mention it in the last video. I don't know why. But now, the rest of the next two days, we are crazy busy again. So she's resting. And I said, we need to put a video out because we have a couple announcements to make. And it's really important that we get this out. So my plan is to make this video. And then I'm going to put it together and have it come out on Saturday. You should be seeing this if you watch this fairly soon. You should see this on Saturday, March. I don't know. I just want to show you. I'm in the garage for a very specific reason. I want to show you. So, so look, first of all, the last two days, we filmed that last video. I put it together at night. It came out on Wednesday. Sorry, Thursday. And then we actually went and moved our friends that are moving to Kansas. We loaded a U-Haul Thursday morning. We drove the four hours to Kansas and then we unload the U-Haul. And then today on Friday, we got up, we had breakfast, we came back, we hit a couple garage sales on the way back, found some cool stuff, but then we just got home this evening. And it's been, it was hard, but it's done. That part is done now. And so now, we thought we were going into the weekend with nothing to do, and I was just going to get to list. I still have eight boxes to list of DVDs and books, and I need to get into them, but everything changed again. Okay, first of all, before I tell you why everything changed again, I want to tell you we have decided we've picked a time, we picked a day. We are going to go live. It may be our first live, maybe our only live. I don't know. We're going to go live this Tuesday. March 19th at 7 o'clock Central Time. So 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock if you're on the West Coast. West Coast? Um, so we are going to go live. It may be a cluster mess. It may go smoothly. It may. We don't have any idea. We've never done it before. But we have kind of the setup. We have an idea how we want to do it. And then it's just going to be a Q&A. Like we'll have the computer there and you can ask questions and we'll try to answer them the best we can. But... If you have nothing to do on Tuesday night, we're going to try to go live. And if for some reason we don't go live, it's because we're technologically idiots and we can't figure it out. But it sounds like you hit the button and it goes. So that should be just fine. So the main reason why everything is different now, first of all, I want to show you this. Remember this? This is our beautiful empty garage. That's just some stuff from garage sale today. Uh, Donna had been working some stuff, but it's still empty, right? This is all boxes, two-wheeler, empty totes. Well, the boxes, the two-wheeler, maybe the empty totes, they're all going in the van in the morning because we have another clean-out to do tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, it's a pretty good-sized one. There is a third floor. There is a basement. I When we got the phone call, I'm going to be honest, I was a little sad. Not because I don't want to do it. That's not why. But I was sad because we just got everything cleaned out. We had the garage sale. It's we can. I was just going to list this weekend and put things on eBay, and we could pull from our storage and kind of try to get our routine down. And then we got the phone call that we knew might be coming at some point, but we didn't think it'd be yet. And so now we have a clean out. Uh, it's at a place where there wasn't a state sale, so it's a post estate sale clean out. So the things have been, there was actually two estate sales in this house. The first one, the nothing in the garage was pulled out because it was full. And the second one, it was the stuff in the house still. And then the, they pulled out stuff in the garage. So they've had two estate sales. So it's everything that's left after that. The lady that's here, that's in charge, kind of the owner of the house now that her mother has passed away. She's from out of state and she goes back on Monday. So uh, we really wanted to be able to get it done before she leaves town. So that's why we're going to go ahead and do it Saturday into Sunday and get it done. We have not talked to her about our YouTube channel yet, so we are going to talk to her in the morning and tell her we have a channel and see if we can film if she's fine with that. So if, she, if she's fine with that, we'll have some footage from it. And if she's not, we'll just talk about it later. But So that's going on. And so we're going to try something a little different here. Because we have plenty of stuff in storage and everything else, what we're going to do... Well, let's see, we'll let you know how this works out. But we actually have a couple different people we know here in town that 
uh, are resellers. One is a reseller, one is kind of getting into reselling, I think, again. But we know that like one of them likes really likes glass pieces. So basically, we're going to get all of the glass items, the breakables, and box them all up. And we ask that person, hey, if you take it all, you can have it. But just like our cleanouts we do, we don't know what's in it. We don't know, you know, we find a lot of hidden treasures, but you have to take it all and then you can sort it and you can donate or throw away or whatever you feel you need to do. But you take it all and then you can have whatever, uh, whatever you want. And so then also there's another person that he is, I think he's getting back into reselling. He's been kind of messing with, he says, um, we actually told him the same thing and we said, Hey, there's these certain types of things that you like. No guarantees on what there's going to be, but we will box everything up because we go there first and we pack, try to pack all the rooms before we start loading and hauling and all that. And we said, if you come, you can take pretty much as much as you want, and then you can go through it and find what you can find. We are not going to do much polling. You know, I'm sure we'll walk through it first and, hey, I really like that or I really like that. But we're our main focus is to empty this house because it is a pretty big job. So anyway, that's going on this weekend. So all this emptiness will be empty no more. I will say there's a, not a lot of furniture, so, which is kind of nice because furniture can take up so much room, but we'll get it done. It'll be worth it. And then we'll talk about it later on the next video, but live Tuesday, Sunday morning, I'm going to be recording the reseller clickbait podcast. And that comes out Monday morning at 10 AM, I guess. So I will talk about that later and maybe we'll share that link or whatever later after it comes out. But for right now, I have like 10 things to ship. It is literally Friday night, 9 p.m. I didn't ship yet. Normally I would have shipped today, but we were out of town, didn't get back till this evening. So I'm going to ship tonight yet so that in the morning when we're on our way to here, we can drop the post office, drop this stuff off. But I wanted to show you, there's like 10 things and I think eight of them are from that $700 buyout we did recently. Some more cool sales. So let's go check that out. I'm going to show you the what solds and then we're going to call it a video. I'm going to ship. I'm going to put this video together and tomorrow we're going to fill our garage back up or something. All right. I'm actually going to pull all the items. We're just going to go through them pretty quick and we'll wrap it up. I'll give you a nice short video to watch. I actually brought lights over. Bright lights. So we have good lighting over here. Um, I actually am planning someday to hang this like over here, hang it from up there. Anyway, so someday, that's a someday project. And we actually talked about in the last couple days, maybe when we got home from moving them, let's take this weekend to go and try Harbor Freight in the different places and find lighting and do the lighting. But now all that's put on hold, but that's okay. It's worth it. This is what we do. We do enjoy it, so it's okay. First up, we have this vintage patent leather gun holster. That's what it is. I don't see any names. Oh, there is a name called Hunter. Hunter brand, PL8, 3332 PL8. This is a revolver gun holster and it's sold for $12.44. Next up, we have this umbrella. Nice big long umbrella. And this has the Kansas City Star Comics printed on the umbrella. I'll pop a picture up here so you can see it so I don't have to open it up. I remember that came, it came from an estate sale that we ended up cleaning out, but I paid $7.50 for it and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, fair warning. The rest of all these, it's books and DVDs. Sorry, may not be super exciting, but it's making good money. So let's check it out. U.S. Army Survival Manual FM2176, sir. That sold for $10 plus shipping. DVD, Steve McQueen, Wanted, Dead or Alive, complete 94 episode series. That right there, sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, for the next one, hey, I don't name the stuff. I'm just flipping it. So, um, Stan Lee, the guy who made all of the Marvel Universe, Marvel Universe. Well, this is a Stan Lee product, and it is Stripperella, starring Pamela Anderson. Stripperella season one and that sold for 22.07 going out the door <laughs> like i said i didn't name it i just sold it next up probably a little bit more different taste 
Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien uh, books, the Hobbit books. There's three paperback books here. Obviously, the Hobbit, and there's all three of the, uh, what is it, the armies? Let's see. Oh, I can't. The Return of the King is the last one. It doesn't say on the side, and I'm not going to pull these out there, and they're pretty snug. But this set of three Hobbit books sold for $25 plus shipping. Next up, we got another Spider-Man. This is number five out of this series of Marvel Masterworks. And this one sold for full asking price of $49.99. And then we have Red Sonya, She-Devil with a Sword, volume one. This one, we have three of these, and this is volume one. This sold for $17 plus shipping. So some comics there. And then we move in with Sergeant Rock, the Archives Edition. I believe we have four of these, but there was one in this box, but I think there's three more volumes or whatever. Um, and this one, I had listed for 75, somebody sent an offer for 55. I came back at 65, they came back with 60, and I thought, okay, I'll do 60. So $60 plus shipping right there for Sergeant Rock. And then the last one is another kind of one of those like, holy cow things. This is a set of four DVDs. It's called Tripping the Rift. There's a movie starring Jenny McCarthy, and then there's Tripping the Rift, there's seasons. First season, second season, third season. Well, the first one I looked up was this, I got this third season, and I looked it up, and it's worth like $110, $120, and I'm like, holy cow, I think there's more, because this was third season. Well, it turns out they must not have made very many of this one, because all these aren't worth near as much, so I actually put them all together, and sold the whole lot for $129.99. So that is paid for and going out plus shipping. That's it, that's everything. Tonight I'm gonna get these suckers packed up so we can drop them off in the morning. And then tomorrow we're gonna work our little tails off again. Uh, it's what we choose to do. I would rather do this than what I used to do. That's for sure. We do enjoy it. We do appreciate everybody that watches majorly because Without you, it wouldn't be as much fun. Um, and all the comments you guys make, it's really great. We so appreciate it. So thanks all for watching. Stay tuned because we have, yeah, hopefully we can film with this thing. And then we got uh, our first live on Tuesday again, Tuesday at 7 Central. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe. That'd be awesome. And all the above for Donna, I'm Steve. We are Happy Heart Treasures. We'll see you on the next one.